tym razem jesteśmy u Randala i rozmawiamy z Dagiem. Hi Dag, I'm Greg. Nice to meet you. So, hello. What's new at Randall? Well, we have this brand new Nuno Betancourt model, a uh, completely different look than normal. All of the electronics are on one side of the amplifier. Instead of having the electronics on the bottom, we put them all on the right side. And that's more for cosmetic purposes. So the amp has two distinct sides, has a black side and then more of a classic gold side. Um, and it's not even released yet? No, right? not even released yet. It'll be available in uh, early summer. So uh, Nuno has been touring with it. This is Nuno Bencourt of Extreme. Has been touring with it about uh, three months and, uh, and loves the amp so far. It's very, very high gain. He's a very articulate player, so it has a lot of like uh, percussive style of tone. Um, great clean channel. The clean channel is more like Fender, Fender style based. So it gets great, um, you know, kind of crunchy from crunchy country tones to great rock clean tones. What's in this back? These have uh, 412s, uh, green back, Celestian uh, green backs, which are 25 watts each. So they're 100 watt cabinets each. Four? Uh, four of them, yes. It's 412. So. It's a great new amp. We're very excited about it. It has a, v, a cool VU meter. It's a very classic look. Yeah. Very vintage, kind of uh, old radio style cosmetics. So what's next? This is also uh, fairly new. This is the Kirk Hammett signature uh, MTS head. Each one of these are modules that you can pull out, uh, but each one have their own unique sound. This is the more Metallica clean sound. This would be more of the Metallica like 80s rhythm, kind of high gain sound. And this is more of Kirk Hammett's lead tone. So these two are very similar. This just has a little bit more gain. Uh, but this, will, this amp, you can use any of our modules. Uh, we have about 20 different preamps that you can use and a, bu a bunch of different signature ones as well. So you can use this amp with, with these modules or with any of the modules that we make. Can we switch them with foot controller? Yes, yeah. You can switch all of with the foot control. It comes with it, two and three. It's a MIDI foot controller as well. So you can actually integrate like effects and you can program effects to different channels and the foot switch will switch it for you. We'll switch both the effects unit and the head. Nice. So it's very cool. It's more black, obviously black Metallica cosmetics. Very Metallica style. So yeah, big time. And this one with this alligator cabinet. This is the George Lynch signature model. This is uh, basically the same amplifier, just different cosmetics. This has different, more eminence. This has eminent speakers in it. That's why it's a little taller. Um, but really the same concept. Three channels, all modular, and uh, just alligator cosmetics, cool alligator cosmetics. Why alligator? Yeah, uh, that was just his choice. Ah. George is kind of a, uh, more of a classic, more boutique guy. He likes the boutique look. And, uh, it looks unique. It looks very unique, definitely. Uh, pretty much the same. This is uh, our other signature line of Randall. These are not modular, so you can't take the channels out like those amps. This is what we call our valve dynamic series. And valve dynamic means, as you see, there's a bunch of tubes in here. These tubes are all in the preamp, so it has full tube preamp. But then you also have a tube in the back that's in the power amp. So you have kind of a hybrid power amp. So the amp has got uh, 400 watts, so a huge transformer. Does it get very hot? Not too bad, it's got a fan, it's fan cooled. Fan. So there's a fan always going, it depends on how hot it gets, the fan will at variable speed. But the amplifier has so much power. Very high gain. Very high gain has a real tube sound, but very reliable because you don't have the big power amp tubes. So the big power amp tubes, that's what generally fails on an amp. Like the ones out there have big power tubes. These just have the small preamp tubes. What's the so, difference about this kind of equalization and this uh, standard? Yeah, this one has uh, three channels. So you have a clean, yeah. you have an overdrive. This is actually a solid state channel, so no tubes. This channel then has all these tubes. So this is the high gain tube channel. Then you can turn on the effects loop, uh, yeah. or you can turn on the graphic EQ, and you can actually assign, like if I want the graphic to only be on this channel, I can assign it to that channel only. So when I switch back to clean, the graphic will turn off. So you can have a, a very tailored uh, sound. So three channels, then you have a density and presence, and this really controls the power amp. It gives you more tube sound, kind of punch, or more sizzle. And this is uh, Christian Wobers of uh, Fear Factory. This is his signature model. It's cool because it's black chrome. So it's kind of that black kind of Terminator look almost. Yeah, it looks like a monster. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It sounds like a monster too. That's the, for modern, there's nothing better for modern metal hard rock sound. It's just very powerful, very high gain.
What else? This is uh, basically the same same amplifier, just different cosmetics. This is uh, Michael Ahmad from Arch Enemy, uh, Swedish, uh, big time Swedish metal band. Uh, this is called the Ninja. So this is the V2 archetype. This is V2 Ninja. And really the only difference is cosmetics and we put different tubes in this one to get, to get a little different sound. Does it affect the sound? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does affect the sound, definitely, definitely. So little bitty tweaks, uh, both guys have a very similar style of sound. Uh, it's just more look-wise, what you like. Yeah. This is more uh, vampire-ish, this was more modern style looking. So, this and this is a different amp. This is actually Gus G of Firewind. He's a, also a Greek uh, guitar player shredder. He's a Berkeley grad, uh, and also is, a, is in a big time band called Firewind. This is the, the T2, as we call it. And we have a standard model too, which is, this is a signature T2. But the difference is you still see has the same preamp tubes, same power amp, it's just more simple. You know, there's not as many channels. You have uh, clean, which is on this amp, is called heaven. Hell channel. <laughs> and then you have the hell channel. So this is high gain, and then you have real high gain when you go to the red channel. But very basic, you know, a simple three-band EQ, a sweep, and then the same density and presence for more punch. But Why this, is it 1, 11? Uh, this one goes to 11. Spinal tab. <laughs> this is the the artist wanted more. Hey, it's really really extreme, you know, extreme control over your sound. So it's a very cool amp. This is more for if you're a Marshall player. This would but what I would go for because it's like a Marshall but much higher gain, much more powerful than a normal Marshall, but same setup. Very simple, straight in, sounds great right away. Yeah. Also, the box is the same. We have a 400 watt cabinets. Each one of these cabinets is 400 watts. So they have a 400 watt Celestion speakers inside. And it's our own own design Celestion. For, because of the power amp is so big and has so much low end, we needed a speaker that can handle it.